When I interviewed Peter Frampton, I asked him, what is a perfect song? And he immediately answered, Why does Shade of Pale? Just because it's such a perfect song. So I think to myself, what is a perfect guitar solo? What is actually makes up a perfect guitar solo? Well, there's a few things. Does it fit the song perfectly? Meaning, if it's coming from the bridge, is it an idea that's picked up and continued on from the bridge? Does it have some unusual notes in it, dissonances against the chord, or use unusual techniques in the phrasing? Does it lead into the next section perfectly? Or is there a transitional part? Does it actually keep going in the next section? There's a bunch of solos I can think of, but the first thing that popped into my mind is a solo that came out in 1983, actually when I was in college. And it's a journey song. It's a Neil Schoen solo, and it's in the song called Sender My Love. One of the reasons I think it's a perfect solo, the way it begins, it comes out of the bridge and picks up on Steve Perry's melodic line seamlessly. Let's listen to it. Beautiful rare. So the end of the bridge goes like this. It's her voice that keeps on haunting me. There's two dissonances that happen. On the C major chord, you have that sharp four, like a Lydian sound. And then that note becomes the flat six of the B minor seven chord. And the B minor seven chord only happens once in the song. I just love that. And then the solo begins with That's a perfect entrance because the solo continues the shape of that vocal melody. Let me play along with it and then tell you why I think the melodic choices are so good and the phrasing is so good. Continues on. perfect solo. Let's talk about Neil's note choices in this. Okay, so he starts out on the E minor chord. And then he goes to that second chord, which is a really D sus2 over F sharp. The great thing about this intro lick over E minor is that he plays B, E, B. It's like a power chord, but it's really unusual to go from the fifth root, fifth, and then right into that no A, which is really the fifth of the D major chord. So it's, it's a D add nine in first inversion. He doesn't play the root on it. He plays that note because it's the perfect note to play over that inverted chord. So I love that opening thing. And it transitions seamlessly from the vocal melody. Before we go on, hit subscribe now. And if you're interested in learning more about the theory behind this, check out my Beato bundle, which includes my theory and ear training courses. Link in the description. Let's get back to the video. And then, then he walks right down G, F sharp to E, and that becomes the third of the C major chord. So you notice this, this is not a real root-oriented solo right off the bat, right? So you got... And then... And then... 
That chord progression is just this. Um, so when he gets to that A minor chord or A sus2 chord and he plays. It's just a perfect end of that first phrase. And it goes back into that. Let's listen. So that second phrase starts out the same as the first, but then climbs up to the fifth of the C major chord there, that G, which is great. It's not a root, right? It's using another chord tone. And then he does this. Does that same, we call this a D add four arpeggio. Beautiful. He does a bend on it. Da da do. But then the end of that goes. Oh, beautiful. That G F sharp and then up to D. It's so melodic. Just absolutely beautiful. Let's listen to that part. This next part of the solo is my favorite part, and it's something that I incorporated into my playing even till today. So it starts back on E minor, with the same lick, and it lands on the A on the D over F sharp chord, but then he goes. When he bends into this note G, he bends into a tension note. So listen, it's this chord. Oh, it's beautiful. I just love that, that flat nine. Then it resolves, then to the, to the third of the C chord, and then it goes into that same line over the A minor with the D add four arpeggio. Let me play along with the whole ending. That's all for now. Leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and thanks so much for watching.